An open cardboard container is 8 inches wide, 12 inches long, and 6 inches high. How many square inches of cardboard are used? In order to solve this problem, we'll use the five-step problem-solving process. The first step is to familiarize ourselves with the problem situation. This involves reading the question carefully. The first thing you would want to notice that is that it says that the container is open. This means there is no top to the container, so we'll be looking at the area of the sides and the bottom. Also notice that we're going to need the cardboard, so we would need area and not volume or perimeter or something else. We need the area of the uh, piece, the sides of the box. A very good thing to do when familiarizing yourself with a situation like this is to draw a picture. And you don't have to be an artist to draw a picture. Just draw a box and label the sides. And to do that, we'll draw a box and make it 3D here. Okay, I'm going to do the back sides too. There we go. All right? And we want to label the sides. We have that the cardboard container is 8 inches wide, and that would be this side here. It is 12 inches long, that would be this side, and it is 6 inches high. Now in order to find the number of square inches of the cardboard, we're going to have to divide the box into different sides. If we look at the left and the right side, each of those sides has an area of 8 times 6 square inches. So we have the left and the right sides. Each of those would be 6 inches times 8 inches for the area, and there are two of them. So we have 2 times 6 inches times 8 inches should give us the area of the left and the right sides. We also have the front and the back of the box. So if we look at the front and the back, those are the same size. It's 12 inches long, 6 inches high, so we would have 12 inches times 6 inches, and again there are two of those. We also have the area of the bottom of the box, but no top. So we just have the bottom of the box, and that is 8 inches by 12 inches. So the area of this would be 12 inches times 8 inches. That can all be done in the familiarized step, and I think we are familiar enough with the problem to be able to translate to an equation. To translate, we can write out what we talked about with the area, the area, the area of the sides plus the area of the front and the back plus the area of the bottom will give us the total area of the box, which is we're looking, we're looking for how much cardboard it's going to take to make the box. The area of the sides, we said, was 2 times 8 inches times 6 inches. This translates to plus. The area of the front and the back, we said, was 2 times 12 inches times 6 inches plus the area of the bottom, we said, was 12 inches times 8 inches. And that equals the total area. I should have defined a variable in the familiarized step, but I'll let C equal the total area of the box. And I'll let this equal C. Now that I have an equation, I can move to my next step, which is to solve the equation. To solve this equation, I need to carry out all of these multiplications and additions. I'm going to start by carrying out the multiplications. I have 2 times 8 inches times 6 inches. 2 times 8 times 6 is 96. And because I'm multiplying inches, something measured in inches by something measured in inches, I will have square inches as a unit. Then I have 2 times 12 inches times 6 inches. So I'm multiplying 2 times 12 times 6. I get 144. Again, my unit will be square inches. And finally, I'm multiplying 12 inches times 8 inches. I get 96 square inches. 
and that equals C. Now that I've done the multiplications, I can do the additions. 96 square inches plus 144 square inches plus 96 square inches is 336 square inches. And that equals C, which is the total area. The fourth step is to check our answer. And to check our answer, we could repeat the calculations. We could look at the box maybe in a, in a slightly different way if possible. And if we would do that, we would find that our answer does check. So the final step is to state the answer in a complete sentence. To state the answer, we say that 336 square inches of cardboard are used for the container.